Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center at TGMC is proud to host its 2013 Focke Open Golf Tournament from April 2nd through the 6th in Homa. Once again, TGMC's fundraising event will be presented by Focke's Jewelers. We hope everyone in our community will join us for this event and wholeheartedly embrace our mission of improving survivorship for cancer patients. Okay, um, let's see. I want to certainly welcome you to the TGMC to your health segment. And as you can see, we actually have uh, Amy Ponson who is here. And uh, Amy is the uh, Director of Development at Mary Berg Perkins Cancer Center at TGMC. So we want to welcome you to the show. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be back. Okay. Yeah, no, it's good to have you back. And uh, I know we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, I guess, a little golf, the Focke Open. Yes, tell us sir. A, tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, this is actually our third year um, to host our golf tournament. This year, um, Focke Jewelers is our title sponsor. So it's called the Focke Open Benefiting Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center at TGMC. Um, we're the only professional golf tournament in our area, and we're excited to be back and running. It's becoming sure. a, a, one of our elite um, golf tournaments in the Homa and Bayou region. Okay, and uh, I know the event's coming up soon. Tell us a little bit about uh, when and where it may be held. Um, this year, it's going to be held April 2nd through um, April 6th, and which is right after, um, right after Easter, and it's going to be at Ellendale Country Club. Um, the, this is actually the last time you'll be able to play on Ellen, um, Ellendale's greens as we know it now because um, the week after our tournament, they are redoing all their greens, which we're very excited for them. Sure, uh, it's going to yeah. be a great improvement. Oh, very good. And in connection with the tournament, uh, I know there are other events. How many uh, other events are? What type of other events uh, take place during the during the week? Well, and it's a whole week long of events, but actually our Pro-Am is um, the Tuesday, April 2nd, and then our professional tournament starts that Wednesday all the way through to, um, to the Saturday. Um, we also provide a free junior clinic for for kids out there that are looking for um, kind of getting into golf and learning how to play they get to play with a professional and then the last day um, with the Friday of the tournament we put on a big party called taste the tournament party and auction um, to help raise money for our cancer center oh very good um, the uh, event uh, I guess what's the kickoff event in terms of uh, you know kicking off the tournament the Pro-Am right there, um, smack dab in the middle, uh, right in the front of, the, of everything on Tuesday, April 2nd. Um, we have quite a few of our um, sponsors and teams um, already signed up and ready to go. We're going to have a lot of food. Bucate's going to come out with um, some, provide some entertainment and some drinks for us. It'll be a beautiful day. Um, we look forward to it. It's going to be that, 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 that Tuesday on the 2nd. Okay, and with regards to the, um, the Open Professional Tournament, the Focke Open Professional Tournament, can you tell me a little bit more about that, please? Absolutely. Um, we actually partnered with Adams Pro Golf Tour Series out of Texas. Um, those AMA professionals actually go to the PGA Tour. That's their goal. It's kind of like the minor leagues mm -hmm. um, um, in golfing. And we, um, they are going to be playing for a guaranteed purse of $100,000, which guarantees that we're going to have the best of the best of their pros that come down to play with our um, with our sponsors and our teams. Um, and they just they play from Wednesday to Saturday, and on Saturday we'll know who the winner of the $100,000 is. Oh, very exciting. Um, the uh, I guess you have a, a, a junior clinic that's free. Uh, what are the ages, uh, you know, for the ranges for that clinic? The we encourage kids age 6 to 16 to come out and um, and play free of charge. It starts in the afternoon on the Friday, uh, which is April 5th, and we uh, um, we provide drinks and snacks for them. They actually get paired with a professional to kind of learn the, ticks, the trips, uh, tips of the trade and sure. um, how to swing a ball as far as they can and how to kind of aim it and everything, and they really uh, have a good time. I'd probably need to take a few lessons there. You are not 6 to 16, <laughs> so. No, you're right. Uh, you can certainly tell that. Okay, um, what is the taste of the tournament uh, party and auction? Tell me a little bit uh, about that. It sounds certainly exciting. It is. This year it's going to be held on the Friday, April 5th, which kind of ends um, the week of events for all of our uh, sponsors and our teams. We have it um, hosted at Ellendale in their, um, in their country club. And it's a, it's a party with a lot of our local restaurants that come and provide a taste of um, a local cuisine that they have, that they're famous for. Um, we also have a band um, mm -hmm. that'll play and have a large silent auction item, um, silent auction area that they can help you know, bid on 
fund and um, help us raise some dollars. We'll have um, restaurants such as Cafe Dominique and Cafe Milano, actually La Casa's coming out, um, a couple of the sushi restaurants as well to kind of provide just a quick taste of our local cuisine. Oh, very good. Uh, why don't we do this, Amy? Uh, certainly some uh, exciting information and it sounds like a great time, but we're going to continue a little bit uh, after we take this break. Sounds good. All right. Don't go away. We'll be right back with To Your Health with TGMC. It could be heartburn. It could just be stress. It could be a heart attack. To learn more about heart disease, go to the experts at TGMC and CIS. Heart health begins here. Welcome back to the To Your Health segment with uh, TGMC. Amy Ponson is here, and uh, she is the Director of Development at Maryburg Perkins Cancer Center at TGMC. And uh, again, good to have you. And uh, talking about the FACE Open, very exciting event uh, that has been going on now for, like you said, a couple of years. And uh, it's coming up uh, shortly. So we wanted to talk a little bit about the, the funds that are raised for this particular event as to how they go and how do they benefit the community. Absolutely. 100% of the funds that we raise through um, the, the FACE Open, our golf tournament, stays in our local community. It actually benefits um, the whole Bayou, uh, Bayou region, that's Terrebonne, Lafourche, and St. Mary parishes. Mm -hmm. It helps us to support um, early detection and um, free cancer screenings, as okay. well as some educational events. Last year, um, in 2012, we actually held um, 17 screenings, um, and we're able to screen over 750 people. Of those, about 70 were actually had to go through an, um, a follow-up treatment. They had an abnormal reading, and three were actually diagnosed with cancer and are now receiving treatment. So I know it's our goal to really put the money back into our community and allow it to support them and, and help them in a good cause. Very good. And uh, let me ask you uh, about the, uh, the Mary Berg Perkins uh, Cancer Center at TGMC. Tell me a little bit more about it, if you could. I mean, it's such a fantastic addition to the community and the hospital, but you, can you elaborate a little bit on that? Absolutely. Um, in 2008, Terrebonne General and Mary Bird Perkins um, came together and we uh, formed Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center at TGMC. Uh, we actually have a full continuum of care, um, which means that we go from prevention and early detection with our free cancer screenings, all the way through, um, we offer radiation oncology, medical oncology, which is your chemotherapy, as well as um, surgery. And then we don't let them go. After they're, they're free and they're, have, they're cancer free, we, we encourage them to come back and um, do some survivor support groups and be around our other patients that kind of help them and build a, um, a good healthy atmosphere. Okay, and uh, with regards to the Cancer Center itself, uh, will the funds, um, tell us about those specific funds, uh, about uh, maybe the, how they'll be used. So uh, like I said before, all the funds we raise do stay here in our local community. Um, we offer free screening, so that's, we offer five different types, breast, prostate, skin, oral, and colorectal cancer screenings. That is free and open to the public. Um, actually, our next one is coming up on Saturday. Um, we're gonna have a breast cancer screening at Canadas okay. in Morgan City. Um, and then the, the next one after that is February 26th. It's a breast cancer screening um, in Matthews at the Rouse's and, I'm sorry, at the Walmart in Matthews. Okay. And um, well, go ahead. I didn't mean sorry, to that's okay. No. The, the money also does benefit our, um, our patients for patient support services, things like gas cards. When um, I had a patient call me one day and wasn't able to afford his gas to get to treatment. Um, so we make sure that they are, they do have those funds available to help them get to their treatment. If they need a breast prosthesis or a wig, um, it can benefit that as well. And, and the screens that are being offered, uh, uh, are they free? Absolutely, free and open to the public. They can stop in if they see the bus um, at one of our locations. Just We kind of drive around town. We'll have them at Sam's, at Walmart, at Rouse's. If they see them, please feel free to stop in. We do gear it towards um, those that may not be able to afford a screening, um, the underinsured or the non-insured, um, so that they are getting the, the treatment that they need. Um, the only one that you have to schedule an appointment for is our breast cancer screening because that is a free mammogram. So we kind of need to be prepared ahead of time and have that scheduled. Okay, and uh, I guess the, the question is, how can uh, we, the public, uh, kind of participate and help out? 
Absolutely. Um, our, we could not do it without our community support. We're very, very grateful. Um, how can our community support us? Sponsorships. Sponsorships, um, having a team coming out to the event, um, bidding on a silent auction item that they might be able to you know, see that, that, that they like sure. and get to benefit from, um, being there to support us um, financially, and um, even volunteering. If you know you have some time that week or the day of the Pro-Am, please feel free to, to let me know. Come out and help us. Um, we have a wide range of things that we need us to with and uh, in in connection with the uh, sponsorships or any more kind of uh, additional information that somebody might want um, how do they get that information they can contact myself um, at the Cancer Center, um, which is 851-8661. Or they can also um, visit our website, which is marybird.org slash FACE. And um, all of the detailed information will be on there about the event, as well as other events and how they can get involved. Um, but pl please feel free to contact me at any time. OK, it sounds great. I mean, the whole event uh, it has been a success. Certainly, I'm sure it'll be a success again. And uh, again, we appreciate all that you do at the Maryburg uh, Perkins Cancer Center. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. No, oh, thank you for coming. And with that, uh, we're going to have more coming up right after these messages.